You know, we're fishing in early summer and I'm concentrating on long grassy flats that kind of slowly taper down into the basin. The cool thing is that is that as summer progresses, you can still use this flick shake technique. You just will concentrate then on steeper breaks where the grass edges are more defined. But for now, we're fishing stuff that's really gradually tapered. The grass grows out, and as it gets deeper, it breaks up, and I'm fishing that broken grass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys exactly how and when to use the flick shake for maximum results. There he is. As Soon as I came off the grass, I slid it off the top of the grass. That fish took it as soon as it broke free from the grass. I see where the bites are actually coming from now. And so now I'm going to try to make some adjustments to see if I can't pick up a better quality fish. I'm letting it fall. I'm actually letting this thing fall completely to the bottom or letting it land right on top of grass. As soon as it stops sinking, I'll pause it for a few seconds and then I'll shake it as I lift it up the grass. And see, I'm in the grass now, so I shake it over the top of the grass. Now I'm going to let it fall back down. So I'm bringing it, it lands on top, bringing it up, it falls down, I hit more grass, I bring it up to the top, let it fall down, and I'm working my way through the underwater pockets where the grass is not growing. There we go. So all I did was I backed off, I backed off the break and got a little bit deeper water to see if the better quality was out here, and it looks like that's what's going on. So when you start catching them, if you're catching a lot of small ones, just back off and get yourself a little bit deeper and see if the size and the quality goes up. And then you know that you have to continually work out a little bit deeper and you'll gradually get your, you'll gradually increase the size of the bass you're catching. That's just the nature of how grass works in the summer. They either get up underneath the mats or they move out to the steeper break. There he is. That feels sloppy. That feels like a little better bass. So basically, so all we did, we started out, we were catching small fish. All we did was backed out of that transition to the deeper water. And here we are, now we're in contact with a much better quality bass. We let the fish tell us what they wanted. And now basically we backed out and we're, we're on the better quality fish. Oh, that was bad on my part. <laughs> I'm using a flick shake <laughs> with eight pound line and here I am boat flipping three and a half, four pounders. That's great. <laughs> so just remember, when you start out like this in the early summer, pick these gradual transitioning flats. If you start up shallow where the grass starts to break up and you're catching small fish, keep backing out a little deeper at a time until you get in contact with the better quality.